A new railway line connecting Montpellier and Nîmes will be completed at the end of 2017. The CNM is a new railway bypass between Nîmes and Montpellier. What's the purpose of the new line? Rail connections will be more fluid thanks to a redistribution of traffic on two lines instead of one. The CNM will be the first combined high-speed line in France, serving passenger trains and freight trains. More local trains will be able to use the current line, thanks to the fact that less high-speed and freight trains will be using it. High-speed trains will be able to travel faster than on the existing line, which will mean a new journey time of three hours to reach Paris for people travelling from Montpellier. The construction will directly and indirectly create thousands of jobs and generate significant economic benefits for the Languedoc-Roussillon region. But before the trains can circulate, the line must be built. This is Okvia's mission. Since June 2012, Okvia has been in charge of this project on behalf of its client Réseau Faire de France. Okvia was created by a group of world-renowned industrial and financial investors, all specialising in infrastructure projects. Okvia's mission is to finance, design, build and maintain the new line. How? Thanks to a 25-year public-private partnership and three companies set up especially to manage, design and construct the line and then maintain it. How much will this new line cost? With the two new train stations on the line, the junction work and the upgrading of the existing network, the CNM represents a total investment of 2.3 billion euros, provided by the European Union, the French government, the Languedoc-Roussillon region, the Department of the Gare, Montpellier Agglomeration, Nîmes Metropole and the Réseau Fer de France. The Ocvia PPP contract concerns only the line and its connections for a total of 1.8 billion euros, financed by the shareholders of Ocvia, subsidiaries and bank loans. Once the line has been completed, RFF will rent it from Ocvia. The project is launched, sustainable construction can start. An initial phase of this project was carried out between the financial close and the end of 2013. It was dedicated to studies and administrative procedures, the finalization of land acquisition, diagnostics and archaeological excavations, hydraulic studies, the identification of local protective species, defining offset measures, the diversion of utilities and preliminary design development. Since the end of 2013, the civil engineering phase has started on the entire line to build the platform of the future line. On the program, earthworks, civil works and roadworks. The main part of the line is backfilled. The line has 11 viaducts, one cut and cover and 177 structures built to ensure the smooth flow of people, animals and water. Among these structures, the most considerable are the manual cut and cover, the viaduct over the vidrial and the viaduct over the les. Starting in late 2015, the work of railway construction will begin with the laying of track and catenary, as well as the signalling and development of telecommunication systems. At the end of 2017, after a test phase, the line will be transferred to RFF for commercial operation. Understanding, respect and transparency are the keys to success in this project. Ogvia is committed to keeping all the communities impacted by this project fully informed at all times.